Hello guys and this is the 17th tutorial of the series and today I want to go over particle systems or emitters as they are known in UDK. So I'm going to, so today I'm going to be going over the different settings for particle systems, show you how to put them into UDK, how to work with them in Matini to file them off at specific times. So I'm just going to open up a test map just to show you uh, what particle systems are and how they can be used. So let's see if I can find it. There we go. I'm just going to give it a second to load here. Let's close. All I've got here is like a piece of road with some pipes around it. But if I press play, I'm just going to give it a second to open up. You you will see that I had some synchronized well synchronized explosions there. So I'm going to show you the basics of what I've got for that. I've got three different emitters, one, two, and three. And in Kismet, I've got Matini and a level loaded event, and these are hooked up to the each of the different emitters, uh, two, three, and four. So I'm just going to delete these quickly and delete the Matini that I made, so I can show you how to make them and where you can find particle systems. Just gonna delete this quickly. Okay, to get to particle systems, you want to go to your content browser, and you want to go to the particle systems tab. Just gonna press all. It's gonna press. I'm just gonna clear that all assets and go back to particle systems, and you'll see you have some particle systems here. Like you got the blue muzzle flash here. Let's see if I open that quickly. You can't really see that's not small enough. This is the cascade editor, by the way. I'm gonna go into into that. You know, what, I'm just gonna find this fire one. Here we go. So we've got the very basic fire anima uh, animation particle system emitter, whatever you want to call it here. So uh, under the settings for the particle systems, there's loads of things you can change. You can change like um, the warm up time, which is the time before it actually starts off, like a delay. You can use a, re a real time thumbnail which will change it and show the animations it plays down in the content browser. And here again you got the you got the delays. And those are the only things that you really need to worry about in the um in the uh cascade editor. You don't really need to go into that. The rest of the work's all done in Matini. So I'm just gonna add a emitter into the game quickly. You can just drag and drop, and if I just minimize that, you'll see what's wrong with that. You'll see you have your fire animation, but you can't choose when to uh, set it off. So I'm going to go find a explode, uh, explosion animation, and here is the one that I was using before. I'm going to right click, add emitter, OK, press play, and you'll see you'll see it, but you can't change when it sets off. So to do that, I'm just gonna scale it up so I can see it better. Press play, and there we go. And I'm going to, yeah, that shall be fine. Then you want to go to your kit. You want to go to Kismet. You want to go to Matini. Open that up. And with the emitter selected, you want to go to right click, new particle group, and just call it anything you want. You can call it Explosion One and you'll have your toggle on and off track so oh sorry about that so when you've got the toggle on and off track, I'm going to show you how to use it now so let's say if you want to have it on, you've got the trigger which will mean it will trigger something you're only going to need to worry about triggering something on and off so to start off, I'm going to have this off so I can make myself a delay so to speak, so now I'm going to have a on one so I press ok and now I'm going to press enter again and I'm going to have a on track just going to delete that move that here stop and you, and it will fire off the animation if, let's say if I have it out here it will just keep replaying it so you want to have it to about where the animation stops and there we have it so I'm just gonna move this over quickly to so I'm gonna have to close Matini to do that and Kismet ok 
Okay. So, and I'm gonna have that coming off of this pipe. Move it up a bit. Copy and paste. I'm gonna have another one here. This one's gonna be a slightly uh, bigger um, explosion. So I'm just gonna scale that up quickly. You can move these around with the normal transformation tools. You can in any way you want. You can scale it to size, non-uniform, rotational mode, trans uh, translational mode, whatever you want really. So I'm just gonna go back to Kismet, and you can add you to add another emitter into the Matini animation. You just want to go to New Particle Group again and call it. Explosion 2. You don't have to call it Explosion 2, but it's just uh, an abbreviation, so to speak, that, that you can use. I'm just going to trigger this on. This is going to be on here, and this time I'm just going to trigger about halfway through as if um, one setting off the other. Press stop, and then play. You've got one explosion. stop play you couldn't see the second one because the other one is rather because the other one is rather large but if you look closely you will see you'll see these little smoke coming in from there so let's scale this one down a bit press play sorry need to stop play okay let's see I might have something wrong here so I'm just gonna so I'm just going to delete this group quickly. It's not purple because I didn't make it with the um, emitter selected. Okay, now it's purple and it should be fine. So with the toggle tracks, so I'm just going to do on. Going to move that around here, and I'm going to make another one which will be off. So if I go stop and play now, you'll have the really small, this really small one after the stupidly big one and there we go also with let's say you're working with fire animations or um, explosion animations you want the character to be I don't know let's say killed if they go near it so I'm just gonna make a new event to fire this off I'm gonna make a level loaded event just gonna hook that up to there and then press play you'll see the animation is fired up straight away and you don't want that so I'm just going to give you a little close look but boom both go off at once so to change that you want to go into the emitter properties just right click and then emitter properties and you can change auto activate whether or not it fires off on default so I'm going to uncheck that on both of them because I've got my Matini setting them off at the appropriate times anyway and now you'll see one is after another so let's say I'm going to want to put a volume in there which will kill them so you're just gonna go have a look for your volumes quickly and see if there's any that I don't know ring a bell ones that will basically kill you you can have let's I'm just gonna have the kill Z volume I'm going to uncheck that quickly. Um, let's see. Control Z should get rid of it. And I'm going to move my BSP brush over to the um, emitter. So with that Matini selected, you, you're going to. I'm going to show you how to move that volume around. So let's just go back to Matini. Open it up no you empty group it's gonna call it that and there should be something with volumes here I'm not too sure okay so I can't remember where it is you don't really need to worry about it but the character will get the general idea if there's an explosion run away so that's about all I wanted to show you in this tutorial and if you got some nice explosions you can trigger off in whatever like however you want 
you know, you can just you can just create stuff, have like nice explosions or bombs or whatever, or muzzle flash for guns. You can import um, uh, particle systems that you've made into UDK pretty easily through the standard um, content browser, and then just go to import at the bottom. But yeah, thanks for watching, have fun, good luck, and goodbye. Don't forget to watch the next one, and that's about it.